On today's vlog, we'll talk about three top tips for weight loss. Stay tuned. Hello. You know, last week as I prepared to uh, edit and post my video, I had two other videos from a couple of years ago that I wanted to link uh, with that one. And while I was watching them, I noticed that one in particular, it wouldn't hurt for there to be an updated version. It was, I believe, uh, tips for new Weight Watcher members or something like that. And there was about five tips on it. Well, I know over the past couple of years, when I go on Connect, I try my best to go on to the newbies group because there's always questions that they have and some people answer them and a lot of times nobody gets any answer. And as the years have gone by, I have come up with three top tips for new members. So today, I'm going to talk about three top tips for losing weight, whether it's with Weight Watchers or with whatever weight loss program that you are trying to do. Mine is Weight Watchers. I'm on the blue plan and I've been on maintenance now for almost seven years. So obviously these top tips have helped me. All right, let's get started. As usual, I've got my notes over here. I, I can't memorize things anymore, so I have to have my cheat sheets. Tip number one, change your mindset to lose weight, or as I call it, to weight loss mode. I know for a fact that when I'm not focused on losing weight, I don't. When my focus drifts, as it has a lot in this last year and a half, to other things, whether they are important things or just daily things that distract me, when I let that happen, there's a good chance that I won't lose weight and I possibly will gain weight. So to me, tip number one is very important. You have to get your mind set that you're going to lose weight. About two months before I started Weight Watchers, I didn't even know it was going to be Weight Watchers. I began to think, I'm going to be successful this time. Not just for a few months like I had all those other years. This was going to be it. And I prayed about it and I asked God to lead me to the program that would work for me. That's why I think I'm sitting here today talking about Weight Watchers. God led me to this weight loss program. I, I know that he did. I know that I went all those other years, over 40 years with a weight problem. And when I finally sat down and honestly and sincerely prayed about it, I found my answer. And I still believe it to this day. After seven years, I believe it was the answer. And it's Weight Watchers. But once again, like I said, if I don't keep my mind in weight loss mode or in maintenance mode, then I will more than likely gain weight. So that's number one. Tip number two, lower your portion sizes. For me, that was an important tip. It still is, because once again, it goes with tip number one. If I lose my focus 
you can almost bet that my portion sizes are gonna grow. I found out early after I started Weight Watchers that I was eating almost double what I needed to eat. And for the most part, I was not a big eater. Now, I did have times of binging. I've always uh, been honest about that. I had a tendency to binge, mainly with sweets. Uh, the stories I could tell you about finishing off a whole pan of brownies or a whole container full of cookies. Sorry about that. I got distracted for a minute, so I had to get up and fix something. <laughs> that goes back to tip number one about being distracted. Anyway, uh, I found out that I was eating almost double what I needed to be eating, so... Early on, I bought a food scale. I felt like that that was something that I needed. I still use it several times a week, not every day, but several times a week, where I will weigh out, especially the meat portion of the meal that I'm eating, so that I won't go into five and six ounces of food, that I will stay somewhere between three and four ounces. Now, a lot of the meat that I eat is zero smart points, but it still has calories. And so to me, it's important for me to know how many ounces I'm eating so that I won't drift back into that um, portion size that is too much. So that is tip number two lower your portion sizes by half. And sometimes, as I have lost weight, I've found out that I even have to lower them a little bit more because I was always at four ounces. Now, usually I'm around three, and when I was still in weight loss mode, I was definitely, uh, toward the end of my initial weight loss, I had to go into the three ounce range. But it was plenty because I had, it, other than the meat that I was eating, I had vegetables, I had fruits, I, I had plenty of other stuff to take the place of eight ounces of meat, like I'm sure that I used to eat. And now, I forgot to mention earlier, we will have one bonus tip at the end that I don't always share with my Connect friends, but I have found out as a bonus to me that it's helped me so much in this last year and a half. Okay, now, tip number three. Track every single thing that goes into your mouth, even zero smart point foods because they all have calories. Now, if you're not on Weight Watchers, this is just as important, because if you are paying attention to how much you're eating, and you want to be successful, if, if you're tracking calories, if you're tracking ounces, if you're tracking whatever, keep up with it. Because if you don't, there is a good chance that you will over Eat. So see, it goes along with lowering your portion sizes because this all, they, they intertwine. And if you have lowered your portion sizes, then you're going to know how much to track. But if you begin to, I, I see and I hear a lot of people saying, well, I, I don't track condiments. And um, I, I don't track um, my creamer that I put in my coffee every day. Eventually, that adds up. You know, I only have 23 points a day on the blue plan. And if I'm not tracking everything that I eat, I'll go over it pretty quickly and not even realize it. So with me... 
whether it's zero smart point foods or not, I track it. I track all the meat that I put in my mouth. I track all the fruit that I eat. I track gum. I track mints. And it may, may seem extremely trivial, but I believe that's part of my success. As time has gone by, I can judge a lot of things that maybe I couldn't when I was still in full-blown weight loss mode. But I can never completely stop tracking. Now, I know a lot of you out there are going to say, is this what I have to look forward to the rest of my life? Well, weigh it out. Do you want to always have a weight problem? Or do you want to devote 30 to 45 minutes a day planning and tracking and making sure that the amount of food that you put in your mouth will not cause you to get back to what you were? I don't ever want to weigh 213 pounds again. You know, I don't ever want to weigh 150 pounds again. That's what I weighed for a good portion of my adult life, and I wasn't real bad overweight. But the size that I am right now, between 125 and 130, I believe is the size my body should have always been. If I get much under 120, I begin to look pretty skinny. If I get much over 130, I begin to look a little heavier. I know it doesn't make any sense, but that's the way it is. One other thing I want to add is I so appreciate and that's the best way I can put it, the Weight Watcher app. It makes it so much easier to do it. I don't have to get a notebook and write it down. I just type in what I'm eating, and it figures the smart points for me. I just wanted to add that. All right, that's my three tips for the day. Oh, I forgot. I've got a bonus tip. This is my bonus tip. And use it as you wish, but it's been a lifesaver for me, especially in the last 18 months. If I ever feel tempted that I'm going to overeat, the one thing I need to do, I'm not saying I always do it, but it's the one thing I need to do is physically get up and leave the room or get up and go outside or get up and get in the car and drive to Walmart just to get away from the situation. I've had the best success when I've done that. When I know that it's about to happen, when I'm feeling that um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just a feeling that I get that I know I'm about to blow the day, which I've done. And so my bonus tip for you and for me is to physically take myself out of the situation. Now, that is all the tips for today. It was one, change your mindset to lose weight. Two, lower your portion sizes, probably by half. Three, track every single thing that goes into your mouth, either by doing the smart points or by uh, counting your calories, however you want to track it, do it. Write it down. And then the bonus tip was if you find yourself close to being tempted to eat something you know you don't need to, take yourself out of that situation. 
That's today's video for today. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and highlight the bell so that you'll get all of my videos. As always, leave a comment below and if you think this video would help anybody else, please share it. One other thing that I'd like to add to this video is how much I appreciate the comments that people left for me last week, either by support or to give me ideas about how I could be a support to others. Sometimes it's a pretty heavy burden for me because I so want to help others. And so I thank you for your comments and I thank you for reaching out to me. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.